Okay, so we're still in collections and we're still looking at lists and we're down to um, our last few methods and we are going to now look at the remove method, which um, is similar to the pop method, but um, it actually removes a an item by its value rather than an item by its index. So we'll see that and how it goes. And um, the first thing that we'll do as usual is we will go and create a list of strings and print our list of strings. That's what we do to start with. And just let run that and we get our list of strings. And the first thing that we want to try to do is remove a name from the list. So remove a name from the list using the remove function if we can. So we'll do uh, names dot remove and open brackets. And we see here that it removes the first occurrence of a value. We also see that this function or this method returns nothing back and it raises a value error if the value is not present. So we've seen this kind of thing before. And let's just remove poor old Charlie from the list. So we'll take Charlie here, copy all of that and remove Charlie. And then we will try to print and then um, let's do print something like um, names are names after removal. So names after removal and we'll put in a backslash n just to get a new line so that it's clean and we can see where it is and we will do names so that we can see what we've actually removed. And let's run this and everything works exactly as expected. And we see that Charlie has been removed from the list and that's all fine. Well, let's go on and just copy and paste this code again a second time to do a second removal. And we just forget that um, we only had one Charlie in here. So now Charlie's gone, but we um, forget to remove another name and we accidentally leave Charlie in here and Charlie doesn't exist. So what happens? And if we hover over the function, we see that it returns a value error if the value is not present. So we get this same error message that we have seen before. We've got this go to and this X down here saying failed. And here's our value error message list dot remove x not in list so um, we've got a fail and we know how to at least attempt to deal with this we can do a try very graceful um, pass through of the code we can do a try accept block so if charlie did exist um, let's tab and paste if charlie did exist then this block of code would run but we know that charlie doesn't exist because we've just removed it in the line above and it's not in the um it's not in the existing list when it gets down to this piece of code on line numbers 15 basically so we're going to get an exception except exception as e and that's kind of like our error message and we could print out something that's you know to ourselves so print um Something like we tried, we'll do an F string actually, F string, we tried to remove, um, we tried to remove, I was just wondering if we can do it like that. Okay, uh, Charlie, um, but got an error, comma, and the error is, We'll put it in here, E, that's our exception, um, exception as E, that's what gets raised. And then we can run this piece of code and we will see, let's see what happens over here. So we run that piece of code and we try to remove Charlie, but we got an error, oops, over there. So we got an error and the error was list remove X, X not in list. So that was our error message we've passed through our code. And that is basically how the remove function works. We've seen very similar functions. We saw um, pop as well and pop um, worked on an index value. So we were talking about like index number naught, one, two, three, and four, but the remove method works on a um, item in the list as in a value in the list. So that's what it does and it remo removes the first occurrence of a value. Maybe just as one um, additional point, uh, we could try to put in something like um, over here, if we did Charlie, again, 
let's actually copy it so we definitely don't make a mistake on that um, Charlie over there um, now when we do this we will actually run for a second time because Charlie existed here the first occurrence went and then it existed in the list again so we actually successfully passed into the try block this time it's actually the first time we passed into a try block because we kind of like always manufactured an error that would come about so this time there's no error it's successfully passed into the try block and it's done a names after removal again but we'll, we'll just leave um the charlie out for another run and we'll just leave the exception um working so that we get the exception there and that's it. That's how the remove method works in Python on lists.